It looks like it's going to be a hot summer on the lava beds of Craters of the Moon National Monument this summer. Local News 8's Evan Thomason shows us the exciting programs coming back for the kids. Craters of the Moon National Park is a treasure to behold. It all began centuries ago. It's a volcanic landscape. Um, we have a lava flow approximately every 2,000 years. Um, this is an area where we have the largest um, lava fields in the United States. Today, these lava tubes, spatter cones, and basalt lava fields offer the world a unique family destination. They're just beautiful. They're just beautiful. And it's like our, well, here is our geological history. You know, it is, it's really something that's special. But the pandemic put limits on visitors for the past two years. Well, all of our normal operations, um, you know, in all units of the National Park Service have been interrupted because of the pandemic. Um, we've had to cancel live interpretive programming because of the fact that we couldn't have public gatherings. Now, park rangers are excited to get back to performing a major component of their job. We're now, we have ranger programming that we have guided hikes. We're going to have evening programs here in, um, coming up later on this month. We begin evening programs at the amphitheater at the campground. We um, do a lot of night sky um, programs as well. But some areas still need their own protection and can be only accessed with a permit. There's a fungal disease called white nose syndrome in this country that has been killing bats. Um, it's spread from cave to cave by people, uh, you know, moving between different caves and we don't know it, but the spores of that fungal disease are carried on our shoes, on our clothing, that sort of thing. The National Park is open 24 hours a day. It is $20 for each vehicle to enter the park, and it is $15 a night for campers to have a spot to sleep overnight. Here we are in 2022, just coming out of a pandemic. The pressures of urban life have never been greater, so these places have never been more important than they are right now. Just like they've always been, these are places where the public can come and recharge. Reporting from Craters of the Moon, I'm Evan Thomason.